Hey family, hope you guys are doing well. So today we are at lesson three of my new book, 10 Lessons Every Disciple Must Know and Teach. So if you have not yet purchased the book, it will be it is available on Amazon. You could click the link in the description. So in the previous videos, we looked at lesson one and two, which include the gospel and repentance. So if you have not watched those videos yet, I encourage you to go back and watch it. But today we are looking at water baptism, which is a, an essential a true a central topic that every disciple must know and teach because the Bible says to go into all the world, go all the world and make disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So every disciple of Jesus Christ is called to be baptized and to baptize others. And so we are looking at six essential truths about water baptism today. Uh, first of all, the first truth is that water, uh, water baptism is a personal choice. So in every recorded baptism in the Bible, the people decided by themselves to get baptized so it wasn't something that was imposed on them by their parents or by their traditions um or to please others but it was because they were uh, convicted of their sins they repented of their sins and the first act of repentance was water baptism and so baptism is a personal choice nobody can make that decision for you and therefore infant baptisms and baptisms that are imposed by traditions are simply invalid because you don't see it anywhere in the bible okay number two baptism is by full water immersion the water the, the term baptism is the greek word baptizo which is directly translated as immersion every recorded baptism in the bible was by full body water immersion that means sprinkling baptism are invalid um, because they are unbiblical and so therefore they are invalid <laughs> number three baptism is a command and not an option okay jesus himself said that i am getting baptized to fulfill all righteousness so in other words jesus got baptized in obedience to god um so water baptism is the outward evidence of the genuineness of your faith and repentance. And so throughout the book of Acts, when people got um, baptized, it was their first act of repentance after putting their faith in Jesus. Okay, so baptism is a command, not an option. We are commanded to get baptized. No, number four, baptism comes immediately after faith and repentance. Okay, so after, I, I, I just mentioned this, after every recorded uh, baptism, every recorded baptism in the book of Acts was performed immediately after faith and repentance. So when Peter preached the gospel to the multitudes, he said, repent and be baptized for the remission of your sins. And on that day, 3,000 souls got baptized. So the very same day that the people put their faith in Jesus and repented of their sins, they got baptized immediately. So there was no baptism course. There was no uh, waiting six months before we make sure that you are ready to get baptized. In the Bible, people got baptized as soon as they believed in the gospel and as soon as they got, they repented. So you don't have to go through this long process to make sure that you are ready to get baptized. You must get baptized immediately. The only prerequisite for you to get baptized is that you believe the gospel and you have repented of your sins. Right? We see another example when uh, Philip was ro uh, walking in, um, the, on the road to, um, I forgot where he was heading, but I believe it was after the persecution in Samaria. And he sees a eunuch and he preaches the gospel to the eunuch. Right, He explains the scripture to the eunuch and the eunuch says, he sees a body of water. He says, what is preventing me from getting baptized right now? And Philip responded, if you believe with all your heart, you may. And he baptized him right away on the very same day. Okay, again, no baptism courses, no long drawn out period before getting baptized. But the only prerequisite was genuine faith and repentance. Okay, number five, all disciples of Jesus are qualified and commanded to be baptized. Jesus said, go into all the world, make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So most people don't have a problem uh, believing that the Great Commission is for every believer. We are all called to preach the gospel and make disciples. But in the very same verse, verse 28, uh, chapter 28, Matthew chapter 28, verse 19, the very same verse where Jesus said to make disciples, he says also, baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. So if you believe that every disciple is called to make disciples, you must also accept that every disciple is called to baptize people. So baptism is not only for pastors or ministers or people who have a, a diploma or a certificate or ordained 
but it is for every disciple of Jesus Christ. And not only are you qualified as a disciple, but you are actually commanded. It's actually a commandment to baptize people. The same way it is a commandment to preach the gospel and make disciples. Okay? It's for every believer. Number six, there is power in water baptism. The Bible says in Romans chapter six that when you get baptized, you bury your old sinful nature in the water. And when you come out of the water, you walk in newness of life. So baptism is not just merely a symbol, but the Bible tells us that it has power to crucify your old sinful nature, bury your old sinful nature in the water. And when you come out of the water, you walk in newness of life, free from sin. Okay, so those, those are the six essential truths about water baptism that you must know and teach. These teachings are very rare today in the church, but they are biblical, okay? So you can verify it yourself in the scripture. Now, uh, to help you guys with pre-baptism questions. So what, the way I baptize people um, is I will ask them the four following questions to make sure that they are ready to get, get baptized. Number one, do you believe that Jesus is the Son of God? Number two, do you believe Jesus died for your sins and was resurrected from the dead? Number three, are you ready to follow Jesus with all your heart, even to the point of death? And number four, According, uh, I say, according to your own faith, I baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ. So there it is, guys. So once again, if you have not purchased the book, 10 Lessons Every Disciple Must Know and Teach, it is available on Amazon. You just have to type in my name, Andrew Cho, or you can click the link in the description. So in the next lesson, we're going to be looking at the baptism of the Holy Spirit. So we'll see you guys in the next lesson.